In this game, I will be asking a popular YouTuber the price of 10 Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Their goal will be to guess the price of each card as closely as possible. For each dollar away they are from the correct answer, they receive a point. As points add up, the lower the prize. Today, we see if your favorite YouTuber can win the $1,000 grand prize. Today's guest on the Guess Yu-Gi-Oh Prices series is PokeRev. PokeRev is the fastest growing Pokemon YouTuber with nearly 1.5 million subscribers. He is well known for his epic live breaks including boxes like base set first edition, Sky Ridge, and other such sets. Today we find out if he knows his Yu-Gi-Oh prices. We are back with episode 2 of Does PokeRev Know His Yu-Gi-Oh Prices? Last time we did it with Jarvis and it was really awesome. Today we have a new guest. His name is PokeRev. You've probably never heard of him because he's uh, you know, a small Pokemon YouTuber. How's it going, Poke PokeRev? Hey, what's up, Ruxin? <laughs> Doing good. I'm excited for this. Jarvis did this already. Oh, he's yeah. probably pretty, he probably did pretty good i'm gonna assume yeah we have not actually posted the results so no one has seen the video but by the time you guys see this video it's already out he did pretty well he was like 16.9 percent off but there's a little bit of something we got to talk about because of that i thought he did extremely well was like he was like 17 percent off so he was only in like the 100 tier i decided to make a few changes we are going to be making it a 10 question quiz now because 15 was kind of insane and i think he did really well for the 15 but just for you poker Rev, and everyone else after this we'll be doing 10 questions to make it a little bit easier we are going to continue to throw out one question so your absolute worst is going to be thrown out and they're going to have your three lifelines so i think you'll give you a better chance to actually get into that possibly one percent tier which is going to be very hard for the thousand dollar giveaway for the comments so make sure you guys like the video subscribe and all that stuff to win that but uh how do you feel how are you feeling about it oh we got this we are giving away $1,000 today. Oh, you're sure that's you're that certain? I'm certain. We're giving it away 1000 How much do you know about Yu-Gi-Oh! singles prices? I feel like I'm pretty decent with graded prices on at least the vintage okay. stuff. But yeah. in terms of like loose prices, like near mint, mint, stuff like that, probably not the best. Uh, for modern, okay. definitely not the best either. Okay, so you're uh, you're going to be getting in the 1%, but you don't know prices. Okay, we'll see how that works out. I'm going to just go big brain on this. <laughs> okay, okay. So yeah, I thought that maybe if I did like a sealed version, it would have been a lot better for you because I know you know a lot more sealed stuff. So this is going to be interesting to see like what you guess. I think it'll be a lot of fun because Jarvis is also not like a Yu-Gi-Oh guy, but he's a lot more into like the single cards than potentially you are. So I'm really excited to see how you do on this. So let's just hop into this thing. We're going to start off with question number one. I'm ready. Let's do it. We we have the Dark Magician from Starter Deck Yugi, Ultra Rare. This is an unlimited copy, not first edition in near mint condition. Pokey Rev, what do you know about this card? What do you think? Okay, Starter Deck, Dark Magician. Definitely something I know a little bit about. That's definitely, it's definitely worth some, a chunk of change. Do you have an idea of what the unlimited starter deck goes for? So this was from, which which starter deck was this from again? This is Yugi. So this is the very first one that went along with Kaiba. So it's Kaiba and Yugi was the initial release, but this is not the first edition, it's the unlimited. Okay, it's the unlimited, but it's not the reprint, right? That came out years no, later. No, it is not the evolution. Okay, not the You're thinking of starter deck Yugi evolution. Yeah, this is just the, the first one unlimited. Okay, this is definitely a higher tier card, I would assume. Um, in terms of the C Sealed starter deck. Uh, man, okay. I would guess maybe like 400 or $500. I think you're pretty close. I think okay. it's a little bit less than that. I think I sold some for around like $300 for the sealed deck. Okay, okay. So that so, could maybe help you figure out what this card's worth. Okay, okay. Um, all right, I hope I don't mess up on this first one. I think I'm gonna- It's okay, I, you got 10 to go, you got lifeline. If you wanna use the lifeline to get it, you start it off to a good start, that's, that's okay as well. Jarvis used okay. his early, so you can okay. do that as well. I'm gonna put the price of the card I'm gonna put my guess in uh, near mint condition, $125. So you're going in tier two. You think that this thing's gonna be all the way up at 125. When you say it like that, I don't. <laughs> uh, I mean, I'm just, I'm not, I'm not trying to influence your guess. I just want you, whenever you put in a final answer, I'll just go and tell you what it is. All right, yeah, yeah. So I, I'm already committed to it. So it doesn't matter what you say then. Yeah, I'm-, I'm Okay, committed. you're going to 125, final answer? Final answer. Pokey Rev, your very first guess you have 10 questions. You're starting off question one with the starter deck Yugi Ultra Unlimited Near Mint. The answer, the final price on TCG Player Load Near Mint first edition of a verified seller. Let's just get that out of the way is $30. <laughs> <laughs> so okay you're you're a little bit off but that's okay just remember the top worst guest is gonna get wiped away i will let you know jarvis guessed and was off by 540 dollars on one of his okay and so 
It's okay. So that may, might make you feel a little better. Keep in mind that was a tier one. So you've used your first tier one. There's three of each now that we've updated the game rather than five of each and then possibly a fourth on one of them. So keep okay, that okay. in mind. I'm gonna keep that. I'm gonna keep track of that. I'm gonna keep track of that. Question two, we are moving on to Blue Eyes Alternative White Dragon Ghost Rare First Edition Near Mint. This is from Ghost from the Past 1, the very first Ghost from the Past two years ago. What are you thinking about this card? All right, Blue Eyes Alternative White Dragon. Um, You said first edition, right? Yeah, this is Ghost from the Past 2. It hasn't had a limited print yet. Okay, okay. Oh, Ghost of the Past 2. Okay, okay. Or 1, sorry. Ghost of the Past 1. Neither one. of them have an unlimited print. What's the pull rate on this? Can I ask you that? Like, what what do you think? Like, how many do you have to open to pull this? For this, it was about one ghost per case. There's five different ghost rares. So, it's pretty difficult to pull. Uh, you okay. usually wouldn't pull more than one. Ghost from the Past 2 upped it, and it was a lot easier. And the original, it was a lot harder. So, we're talking more of a modern card. It is a ghost rare, though, which is tough. Yeah. Do you think this is the one of the best pulls in the set, like top three, or do you think it's like a number okay, one? Okay, I'll, I'll give you the top cards out of the set. So other than the Ghost Rares, not any good pulls in the entire set. The Dark Magician is the number one pull. Then probably this one is second. I don't know off the top of my head, but I would say this is probably the second best. I'm thinking top pull. I'm assuming some of the hype has died down quite a bit since then. So I'm sure okay. it probably peaked already at some point, came back down a bit, maybe coming coming back up a little bit, possibly, but probably not where it was on the original hype. Right. What tiers do you think it right now? I don't know. I'm actually like, I could see- If, if you're I, completely clueless, you could always use a lifeline. It could help. Okay. Okay. Let's use a lifeline. Let's do which tier am I in? All right. So you are, you are using your first lifeline. I think this is a good one to use because it kind of, you know, it gives you a range for the most part, unless you're in tier three, then you're kind of like, you know, somewhere above yeah, this. Cause okay, like, I know I'm assuming like the graded price is like probably pretty ridiculous on something like this. So like, but I don't know, like, again, I don't know a lot of the, like the near mint and stuff like that. So I'm kind of like a little bit lost on that end. But that's all right, we'll figure it out. The tier that you are in is tier two. So you're somewhere between 101 and $250 on this card. I'm gonna go 150, $150. You're gonna guess $150 on Blue Eyes Alternative White Dragon. What makes you say that? What's your reasoning? <laughs> you know what? <laughs> Every time you say it, you're like, why did you choose that? <laughs> I just wanna know. I, I want the audience to know your thought um, process because it's really interesting with you specifically because I know you don't know a lot of these cards. So I wanna know like, yeah. is it just a random guess or like, do you have a reason for that? Okay. Okay, my reason is I'm starting to, like you said, I'm actually starting to get a, a, more of an idea on the loose cards, like especially after the starter deck, Yugi Unlimited, uh, Dark right. Magician. So I'm like, okay, if that's 30, that's a super old card. Yeah, it's unlimited, but it's still pretty tough to get one like right out of like one of those decks because you have to spend $300. Right. This is a top tier pull, 150 out of the pack. I'd assume like a lot of these have centering issues. Like I'd assume they have like PSA 8. Yeah, they, they have a lot issues. of print issues for sure out of the okay. set. The, to get like the top tier, like graded 10 card, it's probably even tougher to find one that's like super clean and centered. Cause I know Yu-Gi-Oh, yeah. like the centering is even tougher than Pokemon because right. you have such like smaller borders so okay I th i'm thinking one i'm thinking like 150 and that's probably on one that's like an eight or a nine let's reveal what the answer is last time you were off by 95 dollars, which was not too bad let's see if you can beat it this time question two you guessed 150 the answer is 175 dollars okay I can live with that. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty good. You're, you're only $25 off. Okay. That's really good, actually. Making a comeback right now, only this one counts. So you're really a total of only $25 off because your first one's wiped away. Let's move on to question number three. We have the Crush Card Virus from Gold Series 2008 Limited Edition Near Mint. What do you know mm. about this card? Okay. I don't know anything about the card. I know, <laughs> <laughs> I know, but I do know Gold Series. Okay, that's something. So I know Gold Series. You're not going to just be sitting there opening up like booster pack or booster boxes right these come in like special boxes yeah so let me give you a little info on gold series just because i know you don't know a ton about this set specifically this is okay. the first ever gold series you know there's like newer ones and stuff like that actually this crush card virus is a reprint of a prize card this is the first ever reprint so when it first came out this was the access for like normal people you know if you didn't have the prize card this is how you got it so that's a little info on that if you have any other questions you can let me know in terms of like first editions unlimiteds what's like the deal with that so this is a 
limited edition print, which I guess in Gold Series, the first one, they just made them all limited edition. I'm not sure why they did that. So there's no first or unlimited or anything like that. I will also add that this card was really, really strong around the time that it came out as a really good card. So people were even using the prize card versions before this, like in okay. duels. So it's a strong card. Not anymore. I don't. It might even be banned. I'm not really sure. Uh, it's not a card people are using now, but back when it first came out, it was super popular. It was also very difficult pull. I don't know. I think it was one in 10, like either boxes or cases, something like that. It was very hard to pull. Okay. One in 10 boxes or cases. So very hard to pull. I'm it's, pretty sure it was boxes. Cases seems a little bit steep for early on. I'd probably say boxes. Yeah. I think I used to have some of the original gold series like sealed at one point. I'm sure you did because you've had everything. I've had a bunch. <laughs> <Yeah>. uh, <laughs> I definitely don't anymore. First ever gold series, an iconic trap card reprint. Could possibly not be legal to use in tournament. Um, also, in, it was in the anime. Kaiba used it. Keep that in mind. <laughs> oh, okay. So it's super iconic then. Right, very iconic okay. for multiple reasons, yeah. Oh, it's gonna be a tough one though. This okay. is a tough one. I threw. I knew this one would probably be one of the harder ones. I could be really off on this. I might need to use another lifeline. So you can either get a new question, like completely new one, or mm -hmm. you can go lower or higher here. I think I want to do lower or higher. Okay. What What is your number that you want me to tell you if it's lower or higher? So let's let's try to narrow the tier a little bit then at least. Okay. I like the strategy. Yeah. Yeah. So I'll go with the two fifty two hundred fifty two hundred fifty one dollar higher or lower. Okay, so you want me to tell you if it is lower than, or higher than $250, if you hit it right on or something like that, I don't know how that's gonna work when that happens. <laughs> you didn't hit it right on, I'll tell you that. But you are lower than $251, so you now know it's not in tier three. That was a good strategy, yep. avoid use lower or higher. Just pulling it out of my, my hat of strats, but I'm, almost, I'm gonna be strats. out of strats soon. <laughs> I'm soon gonna be, out of, be out of strats, but you have one soon. more. <laughs> yeah, my strats are literally just using light lines at this point. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> hey, you got to use them at some point. Yeah, another tool out of the toolbox, but that's all right. Okay. Uh, okay, so we're going to be in either tier one or tier two. Um, okay. Man, okay, so it could be in either of those. Uh, yeah, based on what you've heard, what are you thinking? Like, you think one or two? I could see it being in tier two. Maybe. Yeah, okay, what's your reasoning for that? Why do you think tier two? I just think uh, it's super iconic, first ever reprint. In the first yeah. gold series back in 2008, it's got age to it. It's got, I'm assuming it's a really good card to play wise as well or it was yeah uh, yeah sound, so, sound like a good argument to me i think i'm gonna i think i'm gonna go 125 125 dollars you're locking in at 125 yep all right so you're going just above tier one at tier two 125 dollars poker rev the actual answer is 175 dollars the same as the last one. <laughs> oh man i was gonna say 175 but i was like it's not gonna be the same <laughs> 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 a little bit of a mind trick, but honestly, not a bad right. guess there. 125, you're in the correct tier. I was considering doing a little bonus if you get the tier right while I was upgrade updating it. So I might be adding like 10 points. I think we're probably going to do that because I'm trying to adjust this to make this the most fair possible for everybody. So okay. if you guess in the correct tier, I'm going to be adding like a $10 like credit to each one. I think we're going to do that. Oh, so cool. you essentially guess like 135, you're only 40 off. The last one you guess 150, you're at 160. So you're doing pretty well so far. You do only have one more lifeline though, so you gotta keep that in mind. Yeah, I'll take any credits I can get. <laughs> okay, we're moving on to question number four. We have Knight Assailant, Champion Pack 1, Super Rare, Near Mint Condition. Ooh, okay. You should know a little bit about Champion Packs. You've had okay. a few. Yes, I have. Okay, Knight Assailant. Champions uh, pack one. What's the release date on that? This was around, I think, 2006 or seven. Uh, I don't know if you ever had champion pack one. This is probably the hardest one to get. I know you had two and after that. So yeah. this one has some really big cards in it. Knight Assailant being one of them. Some like really popular reprints that are like hollow versions of old rares and stuff like that. Okay, playability of this card. It's very usable in old formats like GOAT format and stuff like that. So if you're playing GOAT format, this is a really nice high rarity copy of a card that you would potentially use. Pretty cool looking artwork too. And super rares in champion pack, by the way, if you aren't, if you didn't know is one out of 12. So they're pretty hard to pull. Ultra rares are like one out of 48. There's only a few hollows per box. All right, uh, do you know the, approximate cost or value of a uh, champions pack one the cost per pack i think when i bought a bunch of them i bought them at a hundred dollars per pack there's only three cards per pack too so they're pretty valuable for like what's inside or for not for what's yeah. inside for uh for like only having three cards and being like a smaller pack or whatever mm, with all that said i have no idea <laughs> 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 this is a hard one. This is a hard one. Uh, yeah. So a box of these, you've had some champion pack twos. You know, there are a hundred packs in each box. Yeah. So there's a lot of packs. So this would essentially be like a hundred 
dollars times a thousand it'd be like a ten thousand dollar box so yeah, it's pretty okay. ex it's a pretty expensive set so that's important to know and it's a playable card so it's a nice high rarity card so what, what's your thinking my thinking is it's this is probably the most valuable card so far for sure interesting okay all right based off of the other ones okay Could and what, what's wrong. your what and why do you think that well i mean champions pack one i know a lot of those depending on which one you're talking about a lot of them have like really powerful or like sought after cards um, right. This being the first one, probably, I mean, especially $100 a pack. On top of that, the pull rate being really tough on that, and then the collectability outside of, like, the actual playability of it. I feel like yep. this is probably a big one. Okay, so you're thinking tier three. Yeah, and then on top of that, okay. we haven't had a tier three card, so I'm just thinking... That's a good, uh, very good reasoning. We have not had one yet. How long can we wait? I mean, we gotta have one eventually. We gotta have one. I mean, we gotta have at least three, if I'm correct. Right, you do have to have at least three. You've nailed it. All right, well, if you're gonna try to pull this card, you gotta be kind of at least a little crazy, because you're gonna be be opening up hundred dollar packs like left and right. right i'm gonna go five hundred dollars i'm gonna go five hundred dollars okay so you're going five. high this is gonna, go gonna be by far our top one so far Pokerev, I like that guess. That's that's not bad. I'm going to I'm going to tell you right now, you're not too far off. The answer okay. on question 4, you were correct. It's tier 3. Uh reasoning was solid. It's $443. So you're only $57 off on a $443 card. That's pretty close. Okay. I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that. Not a bad guess at all. You still have wiped away that Dark Magician SDY. You haven't had a really bad guess yet. You haven't been off by 100 yet. So you're doing really well. Let's move okay. on to the fifth question and see how you can do here. All right. Let's do it. Question five. We have a game promo. Our first game promo of the series. This is a Zoa, the False Bound Kingdom Prismatic Secret near Mint. This came out of, I believe it was a PlayStation game. There was, it was one of three promos. So what are you thinking? Do you remember this card? Do you remember any of the Yu-Gi-Oh games? Not this one, no. What, what game is this from? The False Bound Kingdom. I think it was a PlayStation 2 game, I think. Playability of this? Uh, not playable at all. This is a normal monster. Uh, you pretty much can't use it. It's, it's essentially like a worse blue eyes because it's two tributes and stuff mm, okay okay completely unplayable well let me ask you one more thing so okay you can only get can you only get this card from a sealed ps2 game or was this ever reprinted that's a good question this specific version is the only way to get it is out of the game there's of course reprints because Yu Gi Oh reprints everything but there was right. never a false bound kingdom version reprinted so if that helps okay yeah and then the ps2 game if you wanted to buy one sealed i'm assuming it's probably really expensive right yeah it's several hundred dollars for the game yeah okay. you know what i don't think i can see this being in a tier three i, I think it might be a tier one card or maybe okay. a tier two but i feel like i'm feeling like I'm just gonna go for it. I'm feeling like okay. this is gonna be $60. So you're thinking 60 bucks. Let's reveal the answer. Question five, this is a tier one card. You were correct on that, so you will be getting a little bit of a bonus there for guessing that correctly. This card yeah. is ten dollars oh, <laughs> so it, it's a real cheap one uh even yeah. and a lot of people actually like this card like it's collectible it's just very easy to get because everyone back then opened them up and so there's a lot of them available oh, okay. it's kind of confusing because like dds was so expensive but then they like had that second run of dds with like cru and like the other ones so like yeah. those were actually kind of short printed in a way where this was always the same promo so i think that's part of it also not having a blue eyes and stuff like that makes a difference i'm all right with that you know i was yeah, I was like, it's gonna be, it's gotta be lower, but I didn't know how low. But yeah, okay, I'm, I'm cool with that. I'll take it. I'll take it. Question number six, Poke Rev. We have the Black Cluster Soldier Envoy of the Beginning Collector Rare First Edition from Toon Chaos. This is in near mint condition as well. Black Luster Soldier. This is the Collector Rare. Okay. Do you First do you know edition. anything about Collector Rares? I was gonna ask. So how do you actually get the Collector Rares? Because I actually I forget. I feel like I know. Okay. I don't know. <laughs> this is like you're doing so well for like you don't even know like really much about the rarities at all. So like you're kind of killing it right now. Uh, the Collector Rare. They started, I think Toon Chaos might have been the first set. I think it was, now that I think about it, with Collector Rares. They are one out of three boxes to pull a Collector Rare. So they're pretty hard to pull. They're just okay. another version of a card in the set. So there's like a rare version of this card in the set, and it's worth okay. like basically nothing. And then the Collector Rare is like the high rarity version that people want. And that's one out of three boxes. But there are 15 Collector Rares per set. So it's one out of three boxes for any Collector Rare. Then it's like four, one out of four cases because there's so many different Collector Rares to get the 
one you actually oh, want. Okay, okay, that's tough. So it's it's pretty hard to pull them. What year is this card? Uh, this is Toon Chaos, so it was 2020. 2020, okay. Oh, right, you okay. You probably yeah, had some of this at some point, I would say. No, I was gonna get some and I never did. And I wish you I never did. grabbed any, okay. All right, I we found something Rev has never had. <laughs> I was gonna get some and I was like, no. Okay, yeah, I remember when that dropped. You should have, because they're like $300 boxes now. Yeah, I know, that's, why, that's another reason why I was like, I should have, I was gonna buy it. I had literally had it in my cart and then I just didn't buy it. I forgot, I got sidetracked. Right. So it's gotta be, it's a collector rare. It's really hard to pull. Iconic, iconic card. This is one of those cards that I could see like a great at one being like, like $1,000 or something crazy, or like okay. over $1,000 yeah. in a 10. Um, uh -huh. So I'm thinking, I think we got a tier three card on our hands here. I think okay, this is, all right. I think this is a tier, tier three. three. All right. I think I'm gonna go three hundred and twenty-five dollars. Three hundred and twenty-five dollars. So you, are you basing that off of the fact that you think it's a one thousand dollar PSA ten card? So you're saying like the raw version is probably around three hundred? Is that what you're saying? Yeah, but I'm also saying when I say a thousand for a PSA ten, that's like the where I think it could start, but I don't right. know like the actual range. So yeah, yeah, that's probably where I'm at. Yeah. Okay, I like that. That's some good logic. By my recollection, I think you're right on with that PSA price. I think it is around a thousand, something like that. So because of that, it gave you a very good guess. You said 325. You are correct. It's it is in tier three. The answer is $295. So you're only $30 off with the correct tier. So you're extremely Dang. close on this one. You almost nailed it right on the head. Okay, I'm happy with that too. Wow, I'm actually surprised. <laughs> That's your best one yet, I think. You like, we're yeah. super close there. Okay, I'll take that. All right, on to question seven. So far, extremely solid performance. I think you might uh, turn out pretty solid for the audience. They might have a pretty nice giveaway after this if you can keep it up. I'm trying, I'm trying. No pressure. Question number seven, Pokey Rev. Here it is, Red Eyes, B-Dragon, from Yap One, which is the anniversary pack in 2008. It's an ultra rare, it's near mint, it's new artwork for the TCG. Uh, have you ever seen this card before? I was gonna say, it's unfamiliar. I've never seen the artwork before. Basically, I'll give you a little background on the anniversary pack. It came out in 2008. It had uh, new artworks for blue eyes, red eyes, and then like, I think it was seven or eight different cards like Genzo and stuff like that. And it was one pack that had the same cards every time. It always had these cards. These sealed packs go for like four or $500 though, because the cards inside are like really cool with like new artworks and stuff like that. Okay, so you get, the, it's set pulls in the pack and then- it's in, Yeah, it's essentially like a deck. I mean, like like it's you're getting the exact same list every time. You're not like any, okay. there's no variants or RNG. You're getting the same eight-ish cards. Oh, wow, okay. And then is it actually like just a pack or does it come in like some kind of like collectible like binder type thing or like what oh uh, this is of... you're, okay you're you gotta throw out some good questions actually it does it comes in a booster pack that also comes in like a display box kind of thing it's sort of like the maximum gold things where you can like open it up and there's a pack inside uh it's yeah. similar to that so if you get it like sealed like that you know it's a little bit different they also i think at one point put them in blisters they have like a blister pack version of it as well so there's a couple different ways you can get it mm. yeah i can't see it being a tier three i just feel like if you're guaranteed all the cards and then there's a whole bunch or there's like at least a handful of other really good stuff in there even though it's probably harder to find it's sealed i'm assuming a lot of it was opened at one point and obviously uh -huh. if every single pack is pulling these cards i feel like that's gonna drop the price on them right that's that's good logic i like it i think i'm gonna go with tier one seventy dollars okay you're locking in 70 bucks okay your reasoning is there's a 500 hundred dollar pack you're guaranteed to get all these cards so of course it's not going to be over 250 dollars it's not even the best card in the set i will confirm that is correct you nailed that obviously you can't have a 250 fifty dollar card and a 500 dollar product that's not even the best card that would make no sense so you're down to tier one tier two you were right on the money in terms of the low tier or the high tier one low tier two you decided to guess 70 dollars and pokey rev you have officially become the first guest to get it completely right. It's $70. Yes! Woo! Yeah, let's go. Okay, that's <laughs> awesome. Did, wait, did you say something? Oh, yeah. I was just jumping up and around and dancing and stuff for a oh, second. Okay, there. okay, cool. <laughs> I didn't hear anything. I was like, okay, do you hear me? Okay, all right, perfect. Yes, you officially nailed it right on the head. It was $70. So I guess now with our new like bonus system, you've officially got an extra $10 to subtract from another, like your total balance because you got it completely right. Actually, I think we should, we're doing it on the fly here. If you guess it completely right, I think you should get a $25 credit. So I think so. 
instead of 10? Because like, it makes sense. Like it's so hard to do. Yeah. You just nailed it on head. We are making a new rule right now because this is only the second episode. You will now get a bonus $25 credit instead of 10 going against your balance. Your balance is probably insanely low right now because you just guessed it right, like exactly right. That's interesting how the seventh question was 70 and you got it exactly right. So looking very, very good. You have two questions left. You can also still throw one out. Keep that in mind. Uh, it, oh, or not throw okay. one out, but uh, uh, ask for a new question with your last lifeline. All right, feeling a lot better. I feel like this is the comeback right now. Pokey Rev, you are on a hot streak. Let's see if you can continue it. On to question number eight. You're 70% of the way through. Let's go. We have the Cyber Dragon Ultimate Rare Cybernetic Revolution First Edition card. Ooh, okay, okay. All right. All right, what are you thinking about this one? I think that might be a tier three. Okay, so you right off the bat, you're saying this is a high value card. What makes you think that? Iconic set, very expensive set. Yes, you're right about Probably that. Probably going to assume that's the number Number one pull or at least the most popular i mean correct me if i'm wrong i could be wrong it is so this is cybernetic revolution it's the cyber dragon there are two big pulls out of here it's cyber dragon ultimate and it's cyber Dra cyber end dragon ultimate rare which cyber end dragon is is bigger than this card but they're still in the same ballpark in terms of like value and stuff like that i know booster boxes that those are pretty pretty expensive Very sorry expensive, what year yeah. was it again like 2006 uh six or eight 2005 or i think 2005. i think it's 2005 it was it was one of the early 2000 or one of the early gx sets it was one of the early ultimate rare adopters and stuff like that yeah i think there's there's no way that it's not a tier three that's just my that's my gut on that one like gotta be a tier three i feel like it's gotta be you think this I mean, is the most expensive card in the entire thing so far okay see my thing right now is that i know it's not from like the original series yeah but this series is really hard to get especially like first right yes stuff. it is gx so i was gonna mention that but then i realized you probably already know that that gx was i yeah. mean it was it was kind of when Yu-Gi-Oh was dying a little bit like it was kind of mm -hmm. falling down and so they didn't print as many boxes and then these so it makes like these boxes hard to find it makes these cards hard to get and stuff like that a little bit more than the original series it's like the equivalent to the ex like the ex era for pokemon it is a lot like the ex era and pokemon yes i'm gonna yeah i'm gonna guess it's the most expensive one i'm gonna go with 500 and fifty dollars five hundred and fifty dollars okay so you're thinking that it's a little bit more expensive than an night assailant not too much but a little bit more yeah i will confirm this is a tier three card you were right about that it's an iconic card from a pretty tough to find set a lot of people were opening it back then poker Ev, this card is one thousand one hundred and thirty three dollars wow oh my god that's crazy so, yeah it's a very very tough oh. one so you were about halfway there. <laughs> you're about halfway Dang, there. You, want me, you make me want to open my box. <laughs> but it's hard to pull, wow. so don't open your box. Yeah, but, no, uh, I wouldn't do it. <laughs> I think at PSA 10, uh, they're around 3,500 right now. They got up to around 65 to 7,000, something like that. So it, it's wow. pretty hard because those ultimate rares are really like difficult to grade as well. But you know the good news? You uh, uh, get to move your wipe away question to this question. So now the Dark okay. Magician you were off by 95 is now in play. This one is out of play. So you don't have to worry about this one that's okay you could have one big miss and it not matter that much and really the 95 miss on the first question wasn't that bad anyway so you're still doing pretty well yeah, yeah you yeah. got two questions left okay so we wiped the, we wiped ourselves clean of that that's cool i'll take that. yeah so you don't have to worry about that one don't let it get in your head uh this is how we do the last two questions because there's kind of like a uh, a tier thing where you could like kind of convince yourself if we ask the last question you kind of know what tier it was in we asked yeah. nine and ten at the same time so we're gonna have two questions at once you're gonna have to do two different guesses are you ready for okay. it okay Let's do it. The final two questions. PokeRev still has one lifeline left. He's going to be answering the final two. We have two at once. We have the Mystical Space Typhoon, Noble Knights of the Round Table, Platinum, Near Mint. This is a first edition card. Then there is a Toon Summon Skull Ultra Rare from Magic Ruler first edition. You have to guess what the prices are. Let's do it. Let's see what you got. What do you know about these cards? Mystical Space Typhoon, I... No idea on that one. Okay, do you want some info about the set it's from? I will take it, yeah. Okay, this is from Noble Knights of the Round Table, which is essentially, it's like a big box that had like a deck of cards in it. And they were all in the platinum rarity, which is not a fan favorite. I will tell you that most people do not like the platinum rarity. I personally like it, but a lot of people don't. And you kind of got the same cards every time you bought this. So it's basically a structure deck with a new rarity. I kind of want to swap the mystical space typhoon, but I also feel like it could be the tier two. So I could at least ballpark it. But then again, I'm not even sure. 
I'm super unfamiliar with that card. You don't have to use your lifelines. That's okay. I think maybe we roll the dice and we just get rid of the mystical space typhoon and see what what pops up. All right, before we show you the next one, uh, let me see what your guess would have been for the MST. I want to see how close you would have been. I think, honestly, I probably would have guessed like 75 bucks. All right, I will reveal what the price was on that one when we get back. So you thought you were in tier one. Keep that in mind for the next question. The replacement number nine question is what that was is scapegoat hobby league 05 near mint hmm. <laughs> so do you know anything more about this one uh i've definitely seen the card before uh just... this this picture is kind of not doing it justice hobby league is a rarity it's like a uh, parallel rare it's kind of like it kind of looks like you laminated your card and it has some like uh colors going through it that's kind of what yeah, it looks yeah, like, like the sparkly all across like the whole card yeah like, exactly yeah does it look like the dual terminal cards a little bit not the dotted ones it's not like dotted but it has uh basically it's like cross light it's like light crosses of light going across it. i don't know how to describe it really but it looks nothing like this picture i'll tell you that okay okay what are you thinking about the toon summon skull what's your you kind of in for that and that could kind of like help you influence what you pick for the other one like a top three pull in the set maybe I mean, I guess I can ask you that, right? The ultras, there, there's not like a huge ultra in terms of like, this one is by far the best, but Toon Summon Skull is a good one. Toon Mermaid, there's like Delinquent yeah. Duo and some other like magic cards like that. Because like Magic Ruler, like I know it's one of the the cheaper, I mean, it's still expensive, but I know it's one of the cheaper OG sets, right? Like Yeah, you're right of, about that. Yeah. If you're matching it's up, like, It's a lot less than like Metal Raiders and LOB and yeah. stuff like that. That's why this one's throwing me off a little bit too. It's because it's not... I don't feel like it's definitely it's definitely not the most expensive card. It's definitely yeah. this magic ruler, but it's still probably it's still it's still a good box. I mean, it's still got to have some good stuff in it if it's higher end pull. You know that one of these has to be a tier two. You know yeah, that. And I, I then... really feel like it's a t I f I'm s really feeling like this is possibly a tier two and the scapegoat's a tier three. Three. Can you tell me anything more about the scapegoat? I think that these were given out like at local stores and stuff like that. Kind of like they're doing Lost Art promotions. I believe it was something like that where if you played in tournaments, maybe you got them and stuff like that. Man, this card looks familiar. This could be like a super cheap card, actually. Wait. Wait, what's the rarity on this? It's the Hobby League uh, Parallel Rarity. It's pretty oh. unique. Okay, all right. Yeah, you were telling me about that. I think it's the only kind of card that has it. There's not really... It's it's not really oh. like in sets or anything. I'm going to say Toon Summon Skull is $195 in Tier 2. Okay. And then Scapegoat, I'm saying Scapegoat, $4. $4 Tier 1. Okay, all right. Let's see what you did. You're locking, are you locking in your final answers. Is that it? Done deal. Okay, this is the end. These are the last two questions. You've used all your lifelines. You've done everything. You've even become the first person to guess one right on the nail, which is pretty awesome. Uh, because you went risky on the Scapegoat, we're going to finish with that one, even though it's technically yeah. the ninth question. Okay, number 10 is the Toon Summon Skull Ultra Rare. You said $195, correct? Yes, $195. Okay, $195. You thought it was in tier two because magic ruler not that popular well it's it's popular but it's not as rare as like lob or metal raiders so you were correct it's a, it is the tier two soon summon okay. skull yeah. is its value is 134 dollars so you're pretty close you're not like that's not bad that's real not bad. close but but you're all right you're in the same tier now let's see how close you were you went a little risky uh the last one's tier two this could be either one two or three this is all or nothing bro this is all or nothing right now I'm, i've show everything on this one like this could it be could a big mess up. It could literally be any of the three. So you could be off by a lot right now. So let's see if you tanked your entire performance right now. <laughs> we have Scapegoat Hobby League 05 Near Mint. You said $4. You went all the way. You didn't try and like meet in the middle. You nope. didn't try to compromise. You were like, nope. I'm going right for it. You said $4. Yep. Rev. Unfortunately. You were only six dollars off. It was what? Ten dollars. <laughs> Let's go. No way. Wait, how much was it? Ten dollars. You were no. four eight. You were only six dollars off. <laughs> Dude, oh my god. Yo, that was a huge risk. I can't believe I did that. You completely oh nailed god. it. So honestly, I, I'm like really excited to see what you did because. You ended up really close there because the only big miss got wiped away. And so you didn't miss by yeah. over $100 on any of the other nine. 
Wow. Okay, so we're gonna be giving away a big giveaway right here. So stay here for one second, audience. It'll cut in like five seconds, and then you'll see what you're winning. 12 seconds later. Before we reveal what you guys can potentially win, how well PokeRev did, we have to mention what the Mystical Space Typhoon does. I almost accidentally gave him the tier, which would have made it less exciting. That was much better by not doing that. It was tier one, as you guessed on the other one. It actually would have been hilarious if you guessed four on this one, because it was $5. <laughs> oh. oh. Okay. That would have been but no, insane. like on that one, I would have never guessed that. I probably would have guessed like like seventy five dollars or something. Like that's right. what I had yeah, in, my, okay. in my mind. Yeah, I, 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 know, that's what I guessed, seen right? those hobby leaks yeah. before because when you you know got your store that you bought out or whatever, you probably saw some of these cards. Yeah, dude, that's why that car looks so familiar. I feel like the scapegoat. All right, after our calculations, the total value of all ten cards that I asked you was. $2,475. So that's the total value of everything. Your guesses were $374 off if you include wiping away the Cyber Dragon, which you missed by over $550. So that was pretty good that you, you saved yourself there. Then you got $90 in bonus because you got nine out of 10 tiers correct. That's really, really good. Oh, so wow. that puts you at a total of $284 off. So if you take that out of the total, you were 11.47% off, which puts you in the 10 to 25% range. I might need to change these percentages because <laughs> you're in the same ballpark as Jarvis and oh, you were 5% better, but honestly still insanely good. I mean, you got $100. I don't know, let me know in the comments. Should we update the, like the, the prize? Is this too hard to get in the 10%? I don't know. Maybe it's possible. We haven't actually asked somebody in the Yu-Gi-Oh community yeah. yet, so I don't want to like make it too easy to get like the stuff, but honestly, Rev, 11.5% yep. essentially for someone that doesn't even deal with Yu-Gi-Oh on a regular basis is super impressive. You did really well. How are you feeling about it? I mean, dude, honestly, being friends with you, it definitely helped a lot because like just <laughs> watching your videos and stuff, bro. So I definitely have gained a lot of knowledge like over the years watching your content. And yeah, dude, like I feel like I did all right for a Pokemon guy. I mean, like I, I, I'm pretty happy with that, honestly. So you are now number one on the scoreboard. So we're going to have like a, a thing pop up. Everyone that's ever competed. You are now number one. Jarvis will have a little asterisk. Next sorry, to Jarvis. He had, do, he had to do 15 <laughs> he had, questions. Yeah, he had it harder. And, and he didn't have the bonuses. So he had he had to like tr yeah. like blaze the trail for everybody. But you did really well today. Rev, thanks again for being on here. If you guys have not seen Poker Rev's channel, of course, it's massive. He has a lot of awesome Pokemon content that you guys will probably enjoy even if you don't like Pokemon. So make sure to go check him out. Any final words, Rev? Dude, uh, thank you for having me on. Seriously, that was a ton of fun. And um, yeah, dude, looking forward to, to watching all the, the videos of people doing this. All right. Thanks a lot, man. I'm looking forward to seeing you again at some point. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.